For those of you guys who have already purchased a fog light kit, first off I'd like to say thank you. For the rest of you guys who may have just stumbled across this video and you're interested in picking up a set of true LED projector fog lights that are DOT, ECE and SAE approved for your Mark V, GTI or Jetta, follow the link in the bottom of this video, it'll take you to my website embraceracing.com where you'll find a whole bunch more details on this fog light kit. Or you can keep watching the rest of this video, I'll have a link at the end, but in the meantime, check out how easy it is to install this fog light kit. Okay guys, so when you receive your kit, of course you're gonna receive the fog lights and they're gonna come with the original plastic bracket installed. And the first thing that we have to do is to get rid of this bracket. And so if you look on the back side of the fog light, you'll see a adjuster screw on the bottom and this is something that's gotta go. So the only two, two tools you're gonna to need for this procedure are a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And so you can begin by unthreading the uh, Phillips head, maybe just a few turns. So if you look very closely at this plastic screw, you'll notice on the back side that it has two tabs, one here and one on the other side. And those are just to retain the screw from popping out when you unthread it. And so you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna push in on them. So push in on the one, unthread it so you can access the other one, and push in on that one. And then unthread it again. And if you push in on both of them, as you unthread, you'll actually be able to completely remove the adjuster screw. So as I continue to unthread, you can see here and here were the two tabs that I had to depress to remove this screw. And so once it's out, now we're free to pull off this plastic bracket. Okay, so with the adjuster screw off, now you can simply just pull on one side and pop this plastic bracket off. Uh, you'll see here there was two little nubs, one here and one here. And that's what the, uh, the plastic bracket was attached to. And so like I said, if, by just pulling them apart a little bit, you can slide that off. And now your fog light's free. All right, so after removing the plastic bracket, now it's time to install the aluminum bracket. And with the aluminum brackets, when you unpack them, you'll notice that you have two brackets and they are mirror images of one another. Um, this one here I've already installed on the other side and in my hands I have the right hand side so the passenger side fog light and I have the passenger side bracket. Now the brackets only fit on one way so you should not be able to put them on backwards but the easy way to tell which side that this is going on is where the adjuster screw went. If you line up the bracket on the correct side you'll have this little tab here and it will line up with where the adjuster screw went because we're going to be putting that back into these brackets. And so to install these, first take your plug and place it through the giant hole in the back. Now carefully slide the aluminum bracket over. You'll see this uh, fin part of the projector on the back. The bracket will fit around that part. And now what you want to do is on the same side as the adjuster screw. You want to just snap one of the aluminum tabs onto the nub on the fog light housing. And now on the other side, this is a snug fit. You're gonna try and pull that over top. And you may need to gently push and pry with a flathead screwdriver to get this piece up and over and to snap onto the other side. And once it's snapped on, you'll see that the bracket has been attached. And the only thing missing now is of course the adjuster screw. So that plastic adjuster screw that we removed earlier, now we are going to put that in through this bottom hole, line it up 
with the plastic nut on the projector. And you can start threading it by hand if you wish. Grab your flathead screwdriver and start threading it in. Now, as you thread it in, the plastic tabs that we pressed down on earlier, they will automatically press in as you thread this thing through the aluminum bracket. And once you've threaded it in far enough, the plastic tabs should expand on their own. But just to be sure, you can grab maybe an even smaller flathead and just pull them out just a little bit, just to make sure that they've expanded and that when you go to adjust your fog light, they do not come back out. And so I've adjusted it into a pretty neutral position. Um, it's pretty much sitting level or would be sitting level with the ground. With the aluminum bracket now installed, we have one final thing to do. And all we have to do now is install the plug end onto the projector. So the projector has these two little wire covers. You can just remove those and discard them. And you'll see that you have a red wire and a black wire. One's positive, one's negative. Keep in mind these are LED lights, so the polarity of the connections matter. You're gonna take your plug, and you'll notice on the top side, I don't know how well you can see it here, but there's a little plastic nub, and that is for locking this connector in place with the other half that plugs into it. So the plastic nub is gonna be facing up. The open end of the connector will be facing you. You're gonna take the red wire, and it's gonna go on the right hand side, okay? And so keep in mind also that there's a flat side to this connector and there's a hollow side. The hollow side always points inward and we're just gonna push that in very carefully. And you may have to just grab it by the wire and push it all the way through and you'll hear a little click. Do the same for the black wire. The black wire will go on the left hand side, hollow side pointing in same thing, just wiggle it in there and push it through and you'll hear a little click. Give the wires a very light tug, make sure they're in place. And on the inside of the connector, you'll see your positive and negative connections in there. And this connection is now complete. Red wire on the right side, black wire on the left side with the locking nub facing up. With the connection now complete, you will take your wiring harness out of the kit. You'll notice that there are two connections and only one of them is possible to connect with the fog light. And so obviously take this end here and basically just line it up. You'll notice that there's a slit in the top side of this connection here and it'll line up with the slit inside of this one. So you can't install this backwards, it will not connect. And just simply push those two connections together and the other end will be ready to connect to your vehicle. One thing to keep in mind here guys when we have this harness in front of us is that this component is called a load resistor. And this is what's gonna prevent you from getting that bulb out error in your Volkswagen. Now this is designed to simulate the load of an incandescent bulb. So it's actually gonna generate a little bit of heat. Please do not mount this to the inside of your bumper it can generate enough heat that it'll actually soften the plastic of your bumper and we don't want to damage anything like that. If you can, mount it to something metal inside the fog light housing. You can just use these little holes here to zip tie it to something metal. The metal will dissipate a lot of the heat. If you can't find anything to mount it to, it should be fine if you just zip tie it somewhere and leave it hanging in the air. Just don't let it contact the inside of your bumper. All right guys, so now it's time to install the fog lights and you're gonna start by removing your stock fog light grill. And there should be one Phillips head screw that's placed in this recessed hole that you're gonna to have to remove. So you can begin by removing this screw. Once the screw is removed, put it aside, stick your finger through the hole, and just carefully pry the grill off. With the grill off, You'll now take your Torx screwdriver and remove the three Torx screws holding in your stock fog light.
You will be reusing these. So put them aside and do not lose them. Try not to drop them inside your bumper either. With those three removed, you can simply pull out your fog light, depress the tab on the back of the connector, and that's it, remove it. Go ahead and grab your driver's side fog light, and you can tell which side is up simply by looking inside. You'll see the little Morimoto logo, that's the top. So when you guys go to plug in your harness, the plug that's on the back of the fog light will not fit with your wiring harness from your vehicle. And so I've included an adapter harness. Uh, in my kit, I actually just repinned my plug so that I don't have to have an intermediate harness in between. But for you guys, I made it just plug and play. So at this point, you'll have to plug in the H11 connector into the fog light and the 9006 connector into your vehicle. And so it should just snap into place like so. And you can begin to just sort of line up your fog light. And now on the fog light brackets, you'll notice that there are slotted holes. And so we are gonna install all three of the screws back in, but we're gonna install them just a little bit loose so that we can still move the fog light around to position it perfectly. And so at this point, like I said, there's a certain amount of adjustability up and down. I'm going to just take a little bit of a guess and say we need to come down based on where the stock projector was. I'm gonna snug up all three screws. Okay, so now it's time to reinstall your fog light grill. So take the outside tab, slide it into place. And just make sure all the tabs are popped in like so. And finally, take your Phillips head and reinstall that as well. That should hold everything down. And that's it. The grill's back installed and you're ready to test out your fog lights. I hope that helped you guys out with the install. Be sure to visit my website to pick up a kit for yourself. And remember that these are not LED bulbs in a reflector housing. They use properly engineered LED optics. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of my great projects.